so I'm going to start over because um, I'm going to just share this after in other places. And now I know that it's good. Um, and I'm going to take a moment to start this transmission because I have so much to share today. <laughs> and it's pretty exciting. And, and I need to ground this energy. Um, so I will be coherent and I could um, share with you some uh, things that were meaningful for me today. Um, and I'll explain in a minute. So I'm just going to take a few deep breaths into my body. And I invite anyone that is watching it also now to take a moment um, to prepare their space, their inner space and outside of them for listening and then for a meditation. Um, if that's something that feels right for you, um, you can also catch the replay after, or if you're seeing it on YouTube or Facebook, that's where it's being replayed as well, as well as source.energy. Okay, and I'm ready to begin. So uh, why is it an exciting day for me? Um, and there's a little bit extra um, energy for me today is because today I'm going to start the journal that I created um, in the last um, months, basically. I was creating it for the last two weeks between the, I guess it was the full moon until the new moon, and then it was printed and I ordered copied, and now we arrived to a full moon where I can start my journal. The journal is the 13 lunar calendars, and maybe there's some other folks that already um, have the journal and maybe they're starting it as well today. Um, so, that exciting and if not there's going to be a link for you to um also um see um uh, nice um i'm seeing other people that are ordering um and they will have their copies so you could start in the new moon when you get your copy and the next new moon is where you can start and it's also aligning with the beginning of the year for the chinese new year it's also aligning to the beginning of the year of the dragon um, so it's actually a really exciting time to start a new journal and to align with a big collective of people that is um, going to start the new year in this, in a way. And I invite you to start your year in a new way as well, looking at time a little bit differently. And, and before I'm going to like maybe explain a little bit more about uh, the process itself, and some of you maybe already know because I talked about it in the last live that I did, or um, I gave some information before in my last this two or three uh, lives. There's a section here that share that basically the day that you start this is like your New Year's Eve because it's um, yeah, it's your beginning of your year. It doesn't matter if it's not going to align to uh, the beginning of the year of the dragon or any time that you decided to start this, it's your own personal New Year's Eve. Because um, you're starting your year to look at the, at the year in a, the cycles of time in a little bit different. You know, time, uh, there's this very known say that time is illusion. Um, and I think we, uh, this is can, this practice might be able to teach us a lot about time. But I don't know, everyone will learn different things, but I think there's some keys that coming also about time that I'm starting to learn. So, um, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to get to, from my own practice, I'm starting it kind of before everyone. And um, 
and for myself just realizing that I'm now not just starting my New Year's Eve, I'm actually able to experience what I call the day out of time. It's also the 13 moon, calen moon calendar is 28 days, is four weeks every month. Um, and then you have 13 months, uh, it comes up to 364, and then you have one day out of time. And it's a day that you can take for yourself for preparation for the next year and for your own celebration of yourself and your achievements or whatever it is that you going to celebrate by um, going through a process that is a deep inquiry and of your healing and manifestation and empowering you to co-create what you want and to use the creative forces of the bigger universe and whatever you want to call of creation and source to help you align to something that is more uh, of a higher harmony um, than the present moment maybe but really linking and tapping into a higher harmony allowing the manifestation of higher harmony to start to be experienced also in the physical also in the manifestation of the senses and awareness and um yeah and i guess it's going all the way to the physical but it's also from all the different senses the the sound and the and the energy and all the things but colors even we'll talk about that too probably in another time um so i plan for myself that for my own day out of time i'm going to take some time for myself and i'm going to um in a way go on my own initiation i was going through um the last few weeks were really powerful for me from few aspects one is my personal healing um that i had pain that was going on for when i realized it's basically seven years um that i had that pain with me uh, and also it was affecting yeah, this, the, most of the left side of my body, my ribs, I'm going to be a bit, I guess, more vulnerable <laughs> and share some things, was um, my hip and um, and a lot, um, and caused a lot of limitations. Um, that a lot of limitations that, um, in many ways. And the last few weeks, many of those limitations kind of coming to light, meaning I'm starting to realize how deep it goes from my lineage and things that I absorbed from my mom, things that I'm not to blame, not to blame yet, but things that I happened with my father, things that, um, things that the, the situation that I, you know, what I was birthing into uh, when I chose my family and my parents, um, and the the many the few early years of my life, like a lot was coming up. I was, was learning a lot and recognizing that that what took me out of balance in a way uh, of my pelvis of this thing is are very deep things, and maybe there's even deeper things that I'm not aware of, um, and maybe this is why I'm even creating this to become even more aware of the deeper things that are holding me back from um, recognizing already the perfection that is already exists. So, and that a key, <laughs> I guess it's a key sentence here, because I noticed that part of the limitation is the, um, the way that um, I perceive or believe about myself. And you know, when I grew up, I grew up uh, with dyslexia and, and the title of ADHD, D, D, hyperactive. Um, and there's like a deep ingrained thing that something is wrong with you. You're not okay. And also it's so deep, it's like you'll never be okay because the, the, this, like the dyslexia or like the having so many mistakes in writing back and forward. And like, I'm now like, you know, I end up publishing a book in English, something that I would never thought that I'll ever do as 
growing with, in, with uh, dyslexia and having even issues in Hebrew. So suddenly to <laughs> my life path would showed me that there is actually the limitation that I thought are not really existing and faced me with challenges and things that I needed to do that I would maybe never think that I would have done this life if I would accept the limitations as what I was being perceived from the surrounding about what does that mean to have that um, condition, you know, you're putting on you a condition. Um, so there's part that still feels that um, every time that I'm doing something wrong that is enforcing this part that, oh, it's, now it's, um, it's not good enough, uh, you're not okay. And, and I'm starting to see what's coming up. And I was even, it's all the way, even until up until today. And I'm going to share, I'm starting this with like a deep reflection of, you know, what is the thing that I'm wanting to really um, clear completely from my beliefs and my physical body for this next year, right? I'm starting my, this is my uh, um, year uh, resolution in a way, um, day. And I plan for myself that I'm going to go to the temples. I'm here in Cambodia and I'm going to dance again. Some of you know that I was professional dancers for many years and a lot of my, um, in a way, light language, uh, you can call it is through dance is aligning the energies and I'm learning the last few days that I had really profound sessions were also linking with a lot of information that in the end of my book, the songs of remembering and about sacred geometry and spirals of and about um, oof, so many things. So about the harmon the new harmony that is coming in with the sacred geometry and how to use spiral energy and also about the energy of fun and joy through dance and healing through dance. Like in session that I was facilitating, information was coming to the to the clients, to the people that I was worked with, that I worked with also practitioner that are going to to also um uh, share those kind of sessions um it's actually arrived to them the information that in a way i needed to hear and was preparing me for my dance uh today so i was planning to go and dance and all of that and was very organized with myself of like i'm going to do all this day and then I'm going to come back, I'm going to do this live of the meditation and starting with everyone in the journal. But if we're going to, maybe we'll join, we'll start together, all this beautiful plan, excited. And then I'm going to the temples today and I'm arriving there and I'm seeing that I, uh, Michael sent me that I missed my appointment of the, of the new moon meditation. It was actually was scheduled for the AM and not my PM like I was thinking. And immediately again, this part that is feeling like I'm not, again, something's wrong with me. It's not something, I'm not grounded enough. I'm not okay. All of this, um, this little part that it's, it's became little, but it used to be much bigger. But this little part wanna come up again. And I was like, okay, that's good. It's a good thing. We, we are accepting all of that because we really need to see what, um, we need to update it, right? We need to update that even that sometimes you make mistakes, you still can remember that, you know, you're okay. And in another healing session that I was receiving a few days ago, it was really about this part that there is a part of us that it, like the, the feeling that you're 100% okay. And it's not that you cannot have a mistakes or do and things that can go wrong or, but if something goes wrong, it doesn't mean that you are not okay. Um, as 
a human, as a being, you can be 100% okay. And I noticed that for me, that's always like a thing that I, I'm not, maybe you can relate to it. Maybe um, it was when I started the session, it was like, I'm 90%, maybe not 100. And then it was like, oh, I'm 95%, maybe not 100. I'm like, but what is, how is it feeling when I'm 100% okay? And I know that I'm okay, no matter what's happening around me, that there's part of me that is 100%, always 100%. So I was reflecting with it and calling in this um, notion, I wanted to say, of being a 100% okay, even when there is a thing that goes wrong. Some, or, you know, we're learning from thing that goes not as it should, so we should learn what should be, right? So, okay, I still don't want to miss meetings and it's maybe not okay to miss the meeting, but it doesn't mean that I'm not okay, okay? So I'm trying to play with this new way of thinking. I'm curious how it's landing for you. If you have comments about this, you can write if you resonate, if you find it in your own way, if you can say, clear, delete for me too. Uh, <laughs> I'm recognizing um, and I'm, yeah, I want to step into feeling 100% okay. Um, and that means 100% in no pain in my body, no pain in my hips. That's what this means for me, 100%. Um, okay, learning what I needed to learn. Um, so going on this deep reflection of um, understanding all of that. And then I had a really magical day and I was preparing my body for the last few weeks. I was doing a lot of self-healing to dance and to be ready to channel those energies and really had so many synchronicities and numbers today. And I uh, did meditations in a few temples and find really beautiful place and recorded a really beautiful video of like 20 minutes of dance and was practicing what I learned in the sessions that some of you might see um, in the course that we are preparing right now for the quicker way of facilitating session that we are researching. You might know about this from the other lives and things that we talked about lately. Um, so there's, you'll see more information and some of you will have the context more also. Um, so it was really powerful and profound and I had a really fun day and I came here and I had to rest and to prepare for this meditation. And I was literally was waking up by booms of fireworks like boom 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 and i'm like wow that's so appropriate right now <laughs> i'm in my new ears eve so i'm about to um start i haven't started yet my journal after this meditation today i'm going to take a moment to you know summarize from what i saw that was rising today that i learned in the last few weeks that was preparing me for this initiation uh, that was um you know all those beautiful gifts that i got and what it's inspiring me to do what i want to focus next and taking another moment to journal so i feel like I'm just giving you a heads up and maybe inspiring you if you are going on to start on this journey to notice that it's actually started before what I wrote here of your New Year's If You can take a moment and know and have a day of your day out of time even before you start it to have really the beginning of it as a deeper reflection um, so your first, um, it's whatever you started on a full moon or a new moon, if you're starting it in two weeks on the new moon, give yourself maybe some time the day before that is a bit more because you are about to digest, in a way, a whole year, right? That just happened and going to put some 
intention also to the maybe the next year and not only the next two months within uh, two weeks sorry with every section there's basically every two weeks it's asking you to do um, a process of her inner reflection and then a process of letting go of things that you uh, that you don't need and calling in what you do need so the first one um might be a little bit more um um rich because uh, you can do intention for maybe the whole year and not just those two weeks when you write so just giving you the heads up inspiration um and to um maybe celebrate yourself even before you go into it um okay let's see if there was anything else that i wanted to share before i'm going to guide us a short meditation um is there anything else i'm looking at this if there's any inspiration from uh, i don't know if yeah I'll put the link in the comments and I think I said enough about the lunar journal and this um, okay so I'm gonna give us a moment to prepare for the meditation and you can give me a thumbs up if you're ready to start here and source that energy um, I'm gonna see is here nice to see you Martin Wanda I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Maybe Quine, Jacqueline, nice, Michael. Okay. Thank you. Let's let's take a moment and um, intention in this is to. The idea is that every time before you start to write as well, and you're doing this reflection, this is why I didn't even start to write, is that you'll take a moment to center and ground and feel how are you connecting to the sense of truth, the sense of your true being, and being able to express without any judgment, right? Being able to write and to feel very deeply what are the things that are on the surface right now for you, expressing them, feeling it, and what are the things that um, kind of from that deep, um, deep, deep connection with your heart and with recognizing with like deep honesty, what are those things and writing it without judgment um, to allow things to come up um, and the meditation is for, for that deep connection and starting receiving maybe this inner guidance um, that will help you also with the writing. So I recommend to do a little bit of meditation before you start. And that can be meditation like what we're gonna do right now or something else that you're doing that helped for you to connect to this flow state of writing without judgment and really feeling deeply into your heart um, and when you connect within your gut your heart you connect to this inner guidance of all the universe that's within you yeah all creation and source and your guides and all the the, the higher aspects of whatever you want to call to your guides that you feel them your inner child, your when it's in in the joy, when it's in the, like the golden child, all of those aspects can speak to you from your own heart and can give you guidance. So we're just going to ask to sit and to connect with this energy, so that energy could guide, uh, can guide us from our heart and inspire us to uh, envision. The next two weeks or the next year or the next month um, and give us some ideas solutions and creative things that we can do that are tangible that are 
grounded that are maybe even help us to find really the the right things for us each one of us have a different things that are that are the right thing for them um and their next steps you know that you can do your process step by step feeling guided feeling that you have um ideas of how to help yourself in whatever situation you're at and having the dedication and the practice to do so um so okay that's the intention take a moment to take a deep breath into your heart i'm going to start a little bit with the body relaxation deep inhale into your body and witnessing the breath with your mind eyes up and down through your body equalizing the breath you can take a five counts or if five counts it feels too long you can take four if five counts feels too short you can take eight just choose a count and to the inhale and the exhale, the same amount of counts, but it's long and it's it's soft and it's equal. Inhaling the counts, exhaling the counts and see them clearly in your mind eyes. I'm gonna also add to it more relaxation of your body. So even though you witness the breath and the counts, you can also feel the rest of your body is relaxing a bit. And if you're sitting, then you need to hold your spine or your neck, your shoulders. You can also find the places where you need to hold more. So there's balance between the places where you're letting go places where you are um, grabbing a bit tighter, aligning and stacking your body to feel very comfortable in your sitting position. And in a way, as you breathe in, you allow more openness for the energy to flow. And you can imagine it with a breath like a gentle breathe that goes up and down through your spine and it's a cleansing breath so it's allowing you to open up a little bit the energy flow through the spine very good we might already feel some of you the tinkling sensations through the spine or other places in the body and now we're going to go from the top of the head and we're going to go through the spine and continue all the way down into the earth. And we're going to go all the way down to the core of the earth with your awareness and the breath. And then when you go up, you go all the way up from the core of the earth into your body through the spine up to the top of your head and up above. We'll continue all the way as high as you can. Imagine that you're going all the way into what your idea of source, the endless, the infinite, the divine, all the way up as high as you can. And then with the inhale, we're gonna go down and again through the body, we're going all the way down into the core of the earth, through the spine. And from the core of the earth up to source, and now just equalize it with the breath. Even and smooth, deep and long, nice and soft. Now you can feel this pillar of energies and light from source all the way down through your body and around you and down into the earth and energies from the earth all the way up 
through you to source, this pillar of highway of energies and light, energies of unconditional love from the, let's say, the divine father and mother of all that there is, we can say, something like that. Think about the, the both energies of divine father and mother in harmony, creating the spark of your own light, your own source within you, that unite you with the energies of unconditional love. The energy you're made of, the energy that you are, the energy that you can connect and feel inside yourself. can allow some memories of the highest frequencies of love that you ever felt, gave or received, to be felt. Just remember those things to allow you to um, really relax you completely. Relaxing a little bit of all the worries, anything that you think of, up until now, to allow more space between thoughts, to allow more quiet, and to go to this deep place of this unconditional love and the source within you that is never affected by anything, is everything that being created is, a, is created within it. All your thoughts can just flow by. All your feelings can just change. There's part of you that is witnessing all of that. Going deep into this place of awareness. The place of this witnessing it all. Let's take a moment to witness the full moon, imagine that you can see the full moon outside. And you're just enjoying, imagine that you're sitting in the light of the full moon, allowing the light to shine on you. But in a way, you know, the moon is always around the earth, kind of recording everything that the earth is experiencing. So we can imagine that the moon is kind of reminding us our experiences that we need to experience, that we experience, and holding for us this database of information for reference, kind of measuring our frequency from out there, measuring the frequency of the earth, able to see from a different, a higher perspective, things that maybe we cannot see about ourselves from within. So we can go high above to something that help us to see and record for us this information and share with us from our heart and give us the visions, like a projector inside us, that will give us the vision of where we want, what we want to achieve in the next two weeks, in the next month, in the next year, depending on what you're wanting to focus on. And with that, also, the inspiration from this higher, perspective of the thing that we can do in order to align ourselves to this outcome. And I'm going to take a moment to just see what information we want to be felt, receive, imagine it for a moment, and take a moment in that quiet time now. I'm going to be quiet for maybe 
Yeah, 10 minutes, exactly, 10 minutes. And that 10 minutes would be like, you're sitting and watching this video of this movie of what you need to learn, of like a whole year or a whole month or a whole week, whatever it is that you need to witness for yourself, whatever you choose to do. And that will be able to be received during this next 10 minutes when I'm silenced and you can watch and feel and have a sense of it in whatever way you receive the information. Let's start now. And when I'll be speaking again, you can take a deep breath again and you'll be able to integrate it very easily and it will not bother you at all, starting now.
Now you can take a deep breath into your body to feel the energy in your body and to bring with you all this wisdom and energy that you have experienced right now to remember so you can write about and take a moment to do for yourself uh, your own if that feels right for you something of letting go ceremony and calling in you can do it also if you don't have a journal you can do it for yourself so you can take a moment and integrate and write some action plans or choices or ideas that you want to catch from this experience today that will help you in the life that you're living now. I invite you to take a deep breath into your body to bring more energy into it and more awareness into your heart space. Let's invite an intention that will help you for this coming days, if it's a month or just then it's the next part of your life. Invite an intention that will help you summarize the information and the energy and the feelings that you have and the wishes that you have. I'm going to take a moment to breathe more, bring more energy into your body now. So the blood circulate a little bit more. You can feel more of your edges. You're returning to your body fully now, feeling your surrounding a little bit more, the space around you. Take a moment, bring some movement into your body. And then take a moment to fill up with gratitude for your guides, for the experience. Just taking a moment to give gratitude to all the beings that are supporting us in our path of awakening and healing and remembering our oneness and wellness with all harmony and divinity in diversity dedicating those energy and what we learned, the energy that cultivated today in our collective field as well, for the liberation of all from suffering, for the benefit of all, and that may we do with this something good in this next lunar cycle, and we'll be able to step more fully into our purpose, life, path and expression in joy and in yeah fun and truth clarity you can add more things of your own of what are you stepping into in those days moment by moment step by step Thank you guys here on Source.Energy that been with me live. Uh, thank you for everyone that will watch this later. Um, take a moment here in the comments, great. And yeah, love you so much. And looking forward to continue doing this. Um, so I'm going to do it continuing on what looks outside as a full moon and new moon. And I will also continue and share with me with my own process every time about my own journey of every two weeks doing the calling in and letting go ceremony for myself. You'll read about it in the uh, journal. And then what I'm learning, sharing, I guess it's going to be the year of uh, vulnerability for me to share more and more about my process, what I'm learning, how it's, and then tapping into the energy and sharing um, what's, what's coming up for me, maybe what's next or what's in the collective coming up in the sessions and how it's being um, 
um, kind of merge. So that's my time to do my little talk with the collective. Um, so I'm looking forward to do to serve you in this way this year, and I'm, I'm really excited for what's happening and i know it's not easy i can feel it in my body sometimes very strongly to this path of healing and clearing and learning and and expanding and um I'm here to support you in, on this journey as much as i can um okay so thank you for being here thank you for what you're doing there thank you for your dedication have a beautiful lunar cycle Happy full moon and I'm sending much love to you until next time. Bye bye.